what's up guys Michal here tech test tutorials now as a lot of us I absolutely enjoy and have a lot of fun playing with an old computers retro computers uh, I've got uh, C64 Amiga 500 another one uh, uh, upgraded Amiga 500 or sorts of computers and like a lot of you know the older computer especially non PCs uh, they have kind of this strange uh, video signal that they output so there is a lots of categories for example you get the uh, it's sometimes you need RF modulators sometimes you need composite video and sometimes you need 15 kilohertz uh, VGA output and uh, not the 31 kilohertz VGA output that are that we are familiar with when we are using uh, standard VGA monitors designed for PCs. There are older uh, VGA mo older uh, monitors like uh, the Commodore uh, Commodore series monitors, uh, CRT monitors that are capable of displaying 15 kilohertz uh, signal. The problem is these are CRTs big vacuum tube uh, monitors and they are not as handy to use especially if you have some l limited space uh, for your retro computer and I don't have that much space at home and still I would like to connect to this one monitor as many or at least three computers so I could play with uh, Commodore 64 so I could play with Amiga and PC and I would like to do this all on one monitor. Uh, the main problem was between Amiga and, uh, and uh, PC, because Commodore is actually, believe it or not, there's a lot of devices that allowed you to adapt S-Video composite output to VGA, and that's not a big problem. The problem is when you would like to connect 15 kilohertz uh, video output to 31 kilohertz VGA monitor. And there are lots of solutions and one of the most popular is uh, upscaler uh, called GBS8220 and it's basically it's a small board that you can uh, you can build in in some kind of enclosure add your own buttons or relocate buttons that are on those PCB on this PCB you can you can do a lot of lot of things with that converter to, to build it in a nice tiny box and put it somewhere behind the monitor and attach even two monitors and connect your Amiga connect your PC and PC what have you so there is a lot of successful attempts uh, many youtubers built that and I wanted to do the same uh, yeah and at least that was my plan so I ordered it and I started to tinker with that uh, now I'm not an electronic engineer but I hope that I will be able to to solder this all together and to have a pretty nice a uh, pretty nice effect so I could connect my Amiga and PC at the same time to a single monitor but as hard as I try and uh, no matter what I did my exp my results were far from that what other people have done and it's probably it all comes it might be one of two things either it wasn't I wasn't lucky when I bought this uh, card and some youtubers have noted that uh, maybe the third on the fourth attempt as they took a board was successful some of them had pretty mm, pretty terrible uh, solder job on them uh, they were not there they were far from being perfect I have seen that video uh, some of them had better results at first time others said well it's maybe it's not perfect but it's uh, definitely workable and it's it's fine the device was cheap so I thought well maybe I will give it a go but whatever I, whatever I try I've done the uh, copper tape mode I have uh, built my own uh, connections to to supply the power I have desoldered uh, everything that wasn't maybe uh, that I didn't need in my build I have built a case 
uh, I have tried with my uh, workbench power supply uh, different uh, different powers uh, power uh, settings like maybe slider more or uh, less voltage. I've gave it as much power as it wanted to with my uh, workbench power supply, and regardless what I have done. Uh, the ex the results were far from fro from what I wanted, and that was a kind of bummer because um, maybe I didn't spend that much time building that, but I had a little bit higher hopes. I would I would like to show you how how the results was, how this all looked like. Um, I have tried few uh, monitors that I hooked this up uh, through through, uh, and I have used some monitors have dealt with this signal from the GPS a little bit better, uh, other a little bit worse. Um, I actually got a little bit better results uh, as I was building this, this device with one monitor than I have used. The only problem that I couldn't quite fix then, it was every, let's say, five or three seconds, the whole picture would shift like by a two or three pixels to the right and then stay in the same spot and then again a small shift and then it would stay and it was uh, it's hard it's hard to describe i saw this every time i was starting a game or something it wasn't terrible the brightness was a little bit off uh, no matter how much i crank up the brightness to 100 percent it was always um, slightly a bit too dim and uh, as I said, different monitors uh, allowed me to produce a little bit different uh, uh, results. And this is what you can see as it turned out. Well, it wasn't all that bad. I was able to get rid of some of this noise by changing the input cable. I have built a bunch of cables using as good quality cables as I could, uh, connecting all the shielding properly and grounding. Then I thought, well, maybe I should ground uh, this copper tape that also didn't produce uh, the, the, the desired effect. And actually, at the end, it all came down to this, to this shift uh, ever so slightly, every five or ten seconds. Sometimes it was once in every 20 seconds, sometimes it was every two or three. And the screen will just, the picture will just <coughs> shift just a bit and again and again. And you play your favorite game and I don't want to get geeky about this, you know, scan lines or something like that missing. No, I just want a clear picture. But when it shifted, it was like a bummer for me. So. At the end, uh, I spent for the whole project like, I don't know, maybe 30, maybe 40 bucks together with building this awesome enclosure and adding all the ports and having a nice tactile switches and what have you. That was fun, didn't produce the effect that I wanted, but I, at the end I got my perfect screen perfect picture from Amiga, both Amiga and PC. What I went with was this uh, BL702A LCD monitor from Bellina. And believe me, I paid for this monitor uh, 150 Polish Zwotys. So that's like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, closer to 50 bucks. So that's not a whole lot of money. And damn this, picture is great it's actually okay you don't get the CRT scan lines that you would probably on CRT uh, and you got only one input so I will have to have a switcher just to switch between uh, sources so that's not a big deal it's another box that I will install here or here but damn this monitor is sharp it's got a great color it it adds to experience it's it will fit in well, very restricted place that I have for it. And yeah, started with this one, thought it will be great, had a lot of fun building it. Then I thought, well, it's a bummer. Other guys <laughs> managed to build it better than me. Uh, might be, I'm completely fine with accepting that probably it was my fault 
as I said, I'm not an electrician, electric engineer, so I didn't have oscilloscope to check everything and neither the knowledge to actually perform a detailed diagnostic. Uh, I was encouraged by, by the effects and results that other guys had, maybe unlucky card by shopping, who knows? But I'm happy to inform you that something as cheap as, let's say, a 50 bucks, this BenQ monitor, it's great. And it's done its job. And now I can move on to the next project, which will be the 286 restoration. Hopefully, uh, hopefully with better results than this one. Guys, if you like this video, if I helped you, please uh, leave a comment down there. If you have any tips, I'm not throwing this away. Maybe, maybe you will spot in a video on B-roll what I have done wrong. Maybe you, you got a clue. Please help me out. I'm not going to throw this away. Maybe I will revisit. Uh, uh, leave a thumbs up. That helps me. I would like to get to 1K of subscribers if that's possible. Uh, comments, comments always nice and thank you for watching and let's see you next time. I will be hopefully, hopefully restoring a 286 with a better result. Take care. Bye bye.